This is our modified payback period calculator for MassCelebrity.com. To get there, you type modified payback period. So we've got two entry boxes here. The first is our cash flows. So the way this works is you enter each cash flow on a separate line. And on the line, you first enter the time, a comma, then your cash inflow, another comma, and then a cash outflow. And we give you that instruction here. So cash outflows, because you're giving money away, you got to treat that as a negative amount. So we ask that you enter a negative amount in the outflow column. So we, in this case, we're going to have five cash flows at times one, two, three, four, and five. And secondly, you enter your discount rate or the interest that your cash flows are going to be discounted at. And you don't need to enter a percentage sign. You just enter your interest rate here. When you're all set, you press the modified payback period button. So we go through each cash flow and we take the inflow and the outflow and we get a net cash flow. Then we take that and we discount that back to time zero. So because the cash flow is at time one to go back to time zero, we only have one period to go back. This time is two, this time is three, etc. So we simplify this to get this. And we have a cumulative cash flow. So in the first time period, the cumulative is just your discounted cash flow. But each successive period, we're taking the existing cumulative and adding the discounted cash flow from the next period. So this plus this is this. This plus this is this, etc. So we go through all the time periods that you entered. And finally, we're going to tell you what the payback period is. Now, in this particular example, because we first crossed zero or had a positive cumulative discount in cash flow, that's going to be our payback period. So essentially, any time you cross the zero mark and get in a positive threshold of a cumulative discount in cash flow, that's your payback period. So that's pretty much it. We'll do one more problem here. We'll make this 550, negative 100, and we'll change this to 3. And we'll add a six cash flow. Six, seven hundred, negative two fifty. Press modified payback period. So now we change our numbers and our interest rate. So we're going to go through this. And we're going to do the same thing we did last calc. Discount and cash flow, cumulative DCF. We keep doing that over and over again. Now in this case, we don't pass. We don't get into positive territory until our sixth cash flow, our final cash flow. So for this particular example, our disc, our modified payback period would be six because that's the first time we get a positive discount in cash flow. So that's pretty much it. If you have any questions or enhancement suggestions, please use the contact us link. Thanks for watching.